What's good, my lovelies? Lovely soul empress here. Come and do a quick reading for the divine feminine. Okay, and the first card out was a uh, twin flame. Okay, I feel like for a lot of you, you've been on the brink of leaving this twin flame or you have already separated from this twin flame, okay? I feel like uh, your frequency has changed since this separation or since this uh, outlook, okay? And I feel like you feel that change is upon you, okay? Which it is, okay? Heartbreak. There was a catalyst to a situation. And I feel like in the past, and it may have happened more than one time, it left you shattered. But this last incident, it hit different, okay? Whatever it was, it's not that it didn't cause you pain, but it was like the last straw that let you... It's like you could give yourself permission to let go. Okay, you have the separation card out here. I feel like what you recognized was, you know, yeah, you might have some work to do, but I feel like you've been doing a lot of shadow work on yourself and that this person, you know, they need some kind of counsel or therapy, something that you can't help them with, okay? And I feel like you um, removing your frequency is causing this person to have a spiritual awakening, okay? I feel like they might have come back to you uh, trying to repair this, but, you know, maybe they've done this before and you feel like they have a lot of um, self-sabotaging traits. I also feel like you're concerned that if you go back, that you'll be self-sabotaging yourself because you've gotten a new perspective. Okay, this person is asking for patience. Here you are, the Divine Feminine. I feel like you feel like your luck has turned around. Good luck, okay? Since... Since you've been gone, right? You got eternal love here. I feel like you still have feelings for them. It's like you recognize um, the position that they hold, and and but that there's this push-pull energy between you and that it's been stuck for a long time, and it's like you're taking a risk to disconnect and see if this brings about the change, okay? And I'm also hearing, I guess I see you next lifetime. So it's like you've come to the realization that if this person can't get it together, you'll see them in the next lifetime, okay? With vivid dreams, you could be having dreams about this person. It's because they're having dreams about you. With codependent, this person is now recognizing how much they were dependent on your frequency. Since you did some type of energy cleanse, you could have did a cord cutting, but it really feels like you're purging their frequency, their aura from your aura. Once you're with somebody for a long time, they can mesh to a certain extent and you start picking up like their aura, their karma, their frequency. And I feel like you're detoxifying, okay, celebration. I feel like you're starting to feel lighter now. I feel like this other person is feeling regrets, okay, because they feel either that you severed the union completely or that you have pulled back so much that they no longer feel this sense of energetic support or healing that normally comes from you. Okay, you have keep the faith here and I feel like this is what this person is trying to do. Um, I feel like you represent some type of karmic lesson in this person's lifetime right now and past life relationship. It's like you've done this before with this person. Okay, so we're going to pull you some tarot. We're going to take a look at what's going on for the Divine Feminine and her twin flame. Okay, let's see what comes out for you guys. Spirit, can you show me what is it that the Divine Feminine needs to know about this twin flame situation? Spirit, can you show me? You have a high priestess. Okay, so you are like really going into your spirituality at this time. I feel like your inner knowing is telling you, you know, to go your own way and allow this person to either sink or swim, sink or swim, okay? You have out here the chariot, okay? I also feel like you could have physically moved away energetically, spiritually, like I said. But you know that they're coming, can you show me okay the hangman because this person it's like you feel like home to this person so they feel quite lost i'm lost in love i can't live without you ace of swords and it was gonna come out in reverse and then spun around i feel like this person has lied in the past okay now they want to come clean okay they feel under pressure all right, um, the star, I told you, you feel like home to this person. Now, this is all causing you to like really align with your own soul path. 
and I feel like you're not really, you know, too much paying attention to them, which is extra freaking them out. Okay, um, you have here the uh, three of wands, okay? It came out slightly crossed, so I feel like you're leaving the door kind of cracked, but you're not overly hopeful. Okay, the sun. You may feel like this person has a big ego, but I also feel like you're saying, well, why don't you show me better than you could tell me because I've heard all this before. Okay, so let's get some clarifiers here real quick. Spirit, can you show me why this high priestess is here? Four of swords. Okay, so you felt like, you know, there was no more that you could give to this person, uh, that it was time to give to yourself and do some healing. And I feel like, you know, you stopped speaking or protesting or trying to convince something of some, you know, trying to convince someone of something like, okay, fine. If you like it, I love it, but I'm not fucking with you like that no more. Okay. So the chariot is here with the eight of wands. You communicated, you know, this is my last, um, stance on this. I'm out. Okay. This is not the vibration that I want. Two of cups. This person felt it instantly, instantly 10 of cups. Okay. In their mind, everything was good because they weren't meeting your, your needs. Six of cups here, okay? So you could have been with this person for a while, but it feels like they want to come back. I feel like they've tried in some way to stop thinking about you. For some of you, that it's been extended period. They may have even tried to date other people and it's just not hitting the same, okay? Yeah, hangman with the seven of pentacles. Nothing feels you know, uh, quite right. Um, like any seeds that are planting are in an arrested development. This person feels, um, alone. Okay. Ace of swords comes out with the eight of swords. Okay. They feel like it's a prison of their own making. They don't know what to do. They feel like you're not really wanting them right now with the four of cups. Okay. They're afraid that if they make an offer to you, that you may reject them okay you got the star out here with the seven of wands but this person does not intend on quitting okay then they don't have all their strength up yet came out diagonal but they they want to break through this resistance okay and then you have here the three of wands spirit why is this three of wands here and i told you it came out slightly crossed you're not overly hopeful about this person um, with the hangman, okay, you feel like they would have to like change everything to program themselves, get a new perspective. Spirit, can I get one more? With the three of swords, okay, and you know, it hurts you to hurt them because you know it's hurting them. With the six of pentacles, it's like they there was no reciprocity and it's time that you bring some balance in for yourself and I feel like you know, you're actually putting the ball in their court in some way, okay, by speaking your truth with the Ace of Swords, Temperance. I feel like this person does want to heal, does want to mend something with you. I feel like they're going through a tower right now, but the tower you may experience as well because this person may come back talking about they want to get married, okay? With the judgment card here, you know, it's a big decision for you, okay? And it feels like you're going to be led by your emotions, okay? A choice, the lovers, this person really does matter to you. But I feel like it's going to hinge on whether they can prove that they can be stable and reliable and like your soft place to fall, okay? And the king of wands is also here. Listen, by the time this person returns, it feels like there's two suitors, okay? A king of wands and the king of pentacles. I feel like you're looking for the stability. This person could be a little more fiery, okay? And I feel like you have a choice, okay? And uh, underneath that is the four of wands, okay? So it's like your soulmate comes and your twin flame come at the same time, okay? You manifested this, nine of pentacles, okay? It's time for you to make some decisions, honey, all right? And spirit is reminding you, if somebody treated you like you were disposable, remember that with the justice card here, okay? Don't be afraid of new chapters.